In this lecture, we are going to start a new module in Creo that is called Assembly. Till now, we had learned how to create different parts and components. And now we are going to learn how to assemble those components. So in Assembly, we have two types of approaches. One approach is called bottom-up approach and the second is called top-down approach. The bottom-up approach is a traditional approach. In bottom-up approach, first we will create different parts and component in the software and then we will insert them in the assembly mode and then we will apply constraint to them. And the bottom-up approach allows the designer to use the part drawing that already exists. In the top-down approach, the assembly file is created within an assembly layout sketch. So the parts are created in the assembly mode. First we will create a basic part or the base part of the model and then with respect to that part we will create the assembly. So top-down approach saves our time and top-down approach is very useful in creating the assembly of fixtures. So to go to the assembly mode we have to click on this new tab, click on this new, go to assembly. In this assembly we have different subtype, design, interchange, process plan, NC model etc. So we have to select this option of design, make a uncheck on this default template, we can insert some name for this and then click OK. And now we have to select the units. So right now we are working on the units that is MMNS assembly design. You can insert some more parameters into this description. This is the description about the assembly and then modeled Y. So you can insert the name of the creator of the model and then click OK. And now we are in the assembly mode. So I am checking on this plane display. So now we have datum planes. In this ribbon menu, click on this model. In this model, we have options such as component, datums, cut and surface. So we go to this component tab. In this component tab, I click on this assemble. We have assemble include package flexible and then we have some more options such as create repeat and mirror component for the bottom up approach we will have to select this option of assemble when i click on this assemble it is showing the browser window and now we have to insert the part i cancel this and when we work on the top down approach we will have to select this option of create and then we will have to work on skeleton mode. So in this we can create the part. We can create sub-assembly, skeleton mode, bulk item and envelop. So right now I am cancelling this. In the next video we will learn how to insert different constraint to the component.